Greetings. Um, I'd like to talk with you guys today about how to do numerical integration with Excel using the trapezoid rule. Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and get started. Here we have some Excel data. Um, imagine you have data about the, how a particle travels in time. So you have the distance it has traveled at different times. And you also know what force it's subject to. So our problem here is a physics problem. We want to find the work done on the particle as it moves from here to here. So here's a plot of the distance it's traveled on the horizontal axis in meters and the height or the, excuse me, the force that it, it experiences while it's traveling. And the work done is going to be the area underneath this force distance curve here. So we're primarily interested for this particular question in the force done while the force, excuse me, the work done by while the force is positive here. So the force is positive over here and then it switches to negative here. We want the positive area here and we want to find the area underneath this curve until the force becomes negative. That's our question that we're trying to answer here. So to do that, we need to find a way to compute the area underneath this curve. So to do that, um, what we're gonna do is use what's called the trapezoid rule. So the idea here is that if you have some function that is plot, maybe the function looks like this, and you wanna find the area underneath this curve, you can break it up in a little sections like this. And you wanna find the area of, let's say we wanna find the area in, in here, in this, underneath this part of the curve here. So to do that, uh, we need to know this, the uh, base and we need to know the height of the shorter side, the, the beginning side, and the height of the um, second side. So let me, let's just concentrate on some of this. Let me erase some of this other part so we can concentrate on just that section right there. Now, I realize that this is curved right here, but if we look, if these points are very close together, we can approximate this with a straight line. And that then looks very much like a trapezoid. And so the area of that trapezoid is going to be equal to the base, which is the bottom section here, times the uh, height, the sum of the heights divided by two. Okay, so that's just the area of a trapezoid. You can look that up. So we're gonna implement the same thing over in these cells um, to compute the work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by creating a column called uh, work increments. And that's gonna have units of joules, um, but that's not terribly important for, our, for the Excel part of this. But, um, because we need two, we need two cells for, to compute this. We need the difference between two cells to find the base. We're not gonna be able to find the work done um, in the first cell. So I'm not gonna put anything there. For the base, I'm gonna use the base as the difference between these two cells here. So I'm gonna start my formula out with an equal sign to tell Excel I wanna use a formula. And then I'm gonna open, the, uh, open some parentheses and I wanna take the difference between this cell and this cell. Okay, and then I wanna take, that's my base, B. And then I wanna multiply that by, uh, these are the two heights here. So I wanna take this height, that's height one, but I wanna open, I need to add these together. So I'm gonna open a parentheses again. I want this height plus this height, and then I wanna divide the thing by two. So this is the area of the trapezoid, just the same as what, what's going on over here. Okay, let me just hit enter there. That tells me the work done um, in going from, from the first cell to the second cell. Okay, now uh, I'm gonna take this and copy this cell. So I'm gonna copy this cell and I wanna paste the formula in down here. And so to do that, I'm gonna click in this first cell and I'm gonna hold the shift key and then click down here 
while I'm holding the shift key and that will pick every cell between the first and the last that I just clicked. And so now I'm going to paste this one in and I'm just gonna paste, do a regular paste. You can do control V or command V if you're on a Mac. I will paste those in, okay? Um, just to make this a little plainer, I think I'm going to uh, reduce the number of decimal places here. Let me select those and then let me just, re just reduce the number of decimal places because some of these decimal places are rather insane. Okay, so these are the increments in going from each of these cells to the next cell. So for example, this one is the work done in going from 0.25 meters, from 0.16 meters to 0.25 meters. Okay. So the work done in going from here to here, that's 9.84. Um, so that's the little, that's the area for each of these little segments. So one of these segments here, I need to add those up to get the total area underneath my curve here. So I want to, I want the area until it transitions to negative force. At least that's the problem that I've set up for myself here. So I want, I want the area here, and I don't want the area, the negative area here. I don't want that negative area there. That would be this area in there. So I want to stop. I just want to go until the force becomes zero. Well, if I look at my force column here, the force becomes zero here. And so this is the last, little work increment that I want to include. So right here, I'm going to um, create a, a cell called uh, total work done up to this point. And that is going to be the positive work. I'm gonna add up this all from this cell to this cell. And so I'm gonna put that one right here and I start that again, the formula with an equal sign. And then I want to sum, so I'm gonna type sum and open parentheses. And then I pick this first column here, just click there, and then hold the shift key, and then pick this last one. And it's gonna type D, you can see what it's typed. You could just type this in as well. D3 colon D20. That means I want all the cells from D3 to D20, including the endpoints. Let me just close the parentheses. And this is the amount of work done in joules that has been done under the positive part of the curve. Okay. I hope this uh, is clear and reaches you well. And um, please put any comments down below. I appreciate anything.